guys, welcome back to my channel and a new video. So for today's video, I thought we could do a book recommendations for spring or spring books recommendations. I believe I did one last year and I definitely looked that up so that I don't bring up the same books again because that's something that I could definitely do because I tend to reread the same books all over again. So I definitely included new books in here and make sure that none of these were in last year's video. But yeah, spring is coming up. It is April where I live. The weather has finally become warmer and the sun is finally out after a long dark winter and I'm very excited about it. So I thought it would be fitting to do this video right now. So here are some books that I recommend for spring. The first book I'm going to recommend is called Layover Land and it's by Gabby Noon. This is a pretty short story and it's perfect for spring not only because of the colorful color, it just screams spring and summer to me, but I do believe this story is also fitting for spring. I don't ask me why, I don't know why, it just it feels like spring to me. In this book we follow Beatrix who gets in a car accident and dies or at least she comes into this in-between world between life and death, kind of like a layover land. And this layover land is an area Airport. So she's stuck in this airport, doesn't really know what's going on until she gets greeted there by people who explaining the rules to her. So basically what she's got to do to move on herself, she needs to help other people move on. So she gets assigned person up to person to help them to move on from this layover land. That means help them to get things resolved, like why did they die? How did they die? Like and things that were unresolved, she's going to help them figure out so that they can move on. And when she's helped X amount of people, I think there was like maybe a thousand. When she has helped a thousand people, then it's her time to move on. So sounds depressing maybe but it's actually a pretty fun it was a pretty fun and i haven't read anything of this sort before where there's this like a layover land and it was pretty unique in that way and i feel like it was it talks about death obviously so it's a pretty tragic story but it didn't feel tragic it felt fun it had humor in it it was very very light and easy fast paced it had humor in it beatrix and all the people that she meets in this airport that she's gonna help move on it had actually so much more than you would think of it to it plus it's a very short one so and this is a story that i really recommend so yeah i definitely recommend this for spring it's a quick and easy read but as i said it's also really fun and humoristic and a little bit of adventure as well in it the next book i'm gonna recommend for spring is get alive chloe brown by talia hibbert this is a trilogy and I do recommend the entire series, but I'm specifically going to talk about this one. But do keep in mind that I definitely, I loved all the three books and definitely read all of them. <laughs> this is a story about Chloe Brown, who is pretty much a geek. Um, she doesn't really go out much. She doesn't really date much. She doesn't really have too many close friends. And she does this list to get a life list where she has things like ride a motorcycle, or have a drunken night out. It's like stuff that she normally wouldn't do she has on this list that she wants to do because she wants to get a life you know she wants to see what's out there she finally feels like it's her time to be kind of a rebel but that's not going to be easy so she kind of takes help from this guy called red that's pretty much the rebel he has tattoos riding a motorcycle you know they're pretty much the opposite and she kind of asks him to learn her about being a rebel she wants to do stuff that she normally wouldn't do and one thing leads to another and these two start to get romantic feelings for each other so this is a contemporary romance but i've mentioned this before when i talked about these books that it feels like so much more than a romance for me it didn't feel like a romance to me it felt like a grown-up woman finding herself it felt really relatable to me it felt raw and real you know a woman in her young age um just existing you know and it's not easy to put yourself out there and i felt like that was really relatable and i really enjoyed it and obviously the romance was really good as well it was so sexy it had some smut in there all three has and i really really enjoyed that as well but for me it was more a humoristic and funny story about chloe and her life um yeah so i really really recommend it i feel like it's such a fun story for spring the next book i'm gonna recommend for spring is jurassic park by michael christian and don't come at me don't come at me first i was like Am I really going to recommend this for spring? But hear me out, hear me out. This is obviously, if you've seen the movies, this is the book that started it all. It's about how scientists find a way to cheat death. It's about scientists who have the ability to create life, how they find DNA from dinosaurs and are able to make them live 
again, roam around on Earth again, and how that is obviously going to threaten humanity and humankind and it's really really interesting i loved the movies growing up i was obsessed with them i literally grew up with the first jurassic park movie so i only recently read this book and i definitely recommend it if you enjoyed the movies this was so fun and so cool to actually get to read about it how it all started and i do think it's fitting for spring because the life finds its way um, new life new beginnings i don't know <laughs> cool it's adventurous it's fantastical and it's interesting definitely recommend it i just needed to have it on here the next book i'm gonna recommend for spring is different seasons by stephen king i really really wanted to have a stephen king book on this list and after a lot of consideration this was the only one that was fitting in this category for me of all the stephen king books i've read i could not find another single one by him that i wanted to include in this video except this one because his books tend to be really dark they tend to be thriller horror fantasy or even science fiction and i would recommend them more for fall fall and winter to be completely honest but this collection of short stories i think is perfect for spring we have four short stories in here we have a shawshank redemption which is a prison story which might might sound dark but i thought it was pretty inspirational a beautiful story about friendship and how we're all human beings whether we're in prison or not kind of and we have apt pupil who is about this boy who founds out that a former nazi lives down the street and how he kind of nestles his way into his life then we have The Body, it's about a group of young boys who go on this quest hunt for a dead body that's supposed to be in a wood nearby that no one has found yet. There's a, a guy that's missing and no, no one has found him yet and he's supposed to be in this woods. So they go out and look for that body because young boys, you know. Uh, probably think it's cool but it's not just that we have these young boys all come from very dysfunctional families and they kind of connect through that it's a beautiful friendship story that has adventure in it as well as they go on this quest and then we have the breathing method who is about a doctor who goes to this like weird secret club and finds this young woman who is pregnant and she's unmarried which was a big deal back then it said back in the day and being pregnant without being married was kind of not okay and how she is going to do everything to keep being pregnant and to keep the baby and how their relationship is affected by that and it's just it was a really cool story so yeah, i thought it was fitting here because none of these four stories are crazy horror or crazy thriller or crazy fantasy they were pretty mediocre with that and pretty like normal setting you know what i mean normal genre not anything too spectacular out of the ordinary supernatural stuff going on here which tend to be in other Stephen King books so that's why I thought it was fitting in this category of this video so I definitely recommend this for spring next book I'm gonna recommend is Bloom by Kevin Panetta and Savannah Ganushi this is a graphic novel and I felt like I wanted to have one graphic novel or manga in this video so I chose this one this was a pretty clear choice to me just look at it and it screams like springtime <laughs> this is about a boy named Ari who is living in a small town with his family and his family owns a bakery and when he finished high school he's expected to keep working at this bakery and to live up to their name and to you know keep the family business going but Ari can't wait to get out of there he does not want anything to do with the bakery he just wants to get out there get to a big, bigger city and do something else with his life he's really really sure of that you know he's just really ready to get out there to meet new people to see new places he's experiencing like this huge wanderlust and he ends up meeting this guy Hector who is the opposite he's very easygoing he definitely wants to stay in this small town he he would love to like work in a family bakery and, and just be he's settling here you know he's just the very opposite of Ari and first a friendship blooms between these two people and it later turns out to be a romantic relationship and, and how that's gonna be affected because they obviously have two very different dreams one want to stay there settle down there and the other one has this great wanderlust that he wants to do other things in the world and be in another place and it's a very beautiful story about two boys falling in love and life that comes in the way and obstacles that come in the way so i definitely definitely recommend this and the style of the illustration is beautiful bluish color that's just it's gorgeous and the last book that i'm going to recommend for spring is all roads lead here by mariana zapata this is a story about aurora who is a woman in her 30s i believe that moves back to her old hometown a small 
town in the mountains after a breakup with her long-term boyfriend. After years and years, she moves back to this small town in the mountains to kind of start over with her life. Like she gave this man everything. They have built up a life together, but he was just really not in it. It didn't work out. So she moves back to her home roots to, you know, have hopes to find her motivation back to life again, a new beginning. And she also has lost her mother and her mother was from this town. So she's trying to Kind of connect with her mother again through nature and through this town. The town has um, a lot of mountains, a lot of woods, which is great for hiking, which is something that Aurora and her mother used to do. So she's kind of wanting to get back to that. She is wanting to connect with her passed away mother through hiking and through nature and through the beautiful forest. So, but it's not only a beautiful story about new beginnings and finding your roots again it's also a love story <laughs> because when aurora is trying to find a place there which is not easy she rents this like uh, room or apartment in this house where other people already live and the landlord the man who lives there with his son the landlord is this really grumpy guy really a loner this doesn't talk is so grumpy and is also like a bit older than her plus he has a teenage son and from the beginning they really hate each other <laughs> it's kind of like grumpy versus sunshine a lot of things happen between these two and a lot of things happen with the son as well and how that obviously is going to turn into a romantic relationship but it has a lot of like twists and turns it's definitely not instant love it's literally haters to lovers it's literally like it's really really slow paced that was the one thing the main thing that I mentioned I think when I read this when I blogged that that it's so slow paced um, with the romance that is so it's definitely not filled with romance it's definitely so slow paced and like the end there might be some romance it's fun to follow their dynamic through like strangers to haters to slowly becoming friends common interest lovers like it's a really fun slow interesting timeline to follow so uh, I loved this book and I think it's perfect for spring because new beginnings you know it's uh, yeah it's a pretty big book and it just has a lot to it um, but keep in mind i would definitely not consider this like love being the main part it is a big part of it but it's more so like finding your place finding your roots again feeling good again about how aurora just wants to feel at peace again and that was really beautiful to read about i really really enjoyed this book and i really want to reread it at some point so yeah, I definitely recommend this for spring. <laughs> but yeah, that was it for my spring book recommendations. If you have read any of these, please let me know. Or if you've been wanting to, please let me know your thoughts. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in one of my next videos. Bye.